Hi, my name is Trevor Valley. I'm the assistant lab supervisor here of the fishbowl at the George C. Page Museum, the La Brea Tar Pits. Well, uh, right now in front of me is Zed's right scapula. It's uh, basically the shoulder blade of our newest and biggest mammoth we've got going on here at Rancho La Brea. It's, it's pretty cool. Right now I'm just using a dental pick and getting some of this clay and asphalt off. This specific one, we flipped over on the other side. We worked on it for a couple months, then we just recently flipped it over onto this side. It'll take about a month of careful detailing and cleaning and then we'll make a cradle for it and put it out into the museum. So you're talking about a good half a year process. This is Zed's tibia, it's a shin bone. Now, it's not in very good shape because, well, the preservation isn't that great on this one. So in order to figure out what's what and where, we have to use a comparative sample. We have to actually take a bone that looks a lot like this one and compare it and see where all the pieces are missing from. So in this case, I've got this one. This is also a tibia, but this is from an Asian elephant. This is a modern elephant. Now, elephants and mammoths are very closely related, and you can see size difference is a little bit intense here. So the Asian elephant is probably the ones you've seen at the LA Zoo and zoos around the world. Our mammoth, uh, he was considerably larger. So we use comparative bones like this all the time in order to figure out what goes where, how much is it damaged, where are we going in the excavation and cleaning process. It's really important to have cats and dogs and elephants and modern animals available so we can look back and see where to go with the fossil ones. Because always, modern stuff is always the key to the past, and the past lets you learn a lot about the future. Now this is National Fossil Day, so first we actually really have to say, what is a fossil? Well, here at the Tar Pits, we tend to use the term fossil as evidence of ancient life, something that used to be alive a long time ago, it's dead now, possibly extinct, things like that. Now, that doesn't mean a fossil has to be a bone. It could be a plant. This is actually a piece of fossil wood from one of the Tar Pits, and we consider this a fossil. Now. A lot of people will say, hey, wait a minute, your stuff isn't fossilized. It hasn't been turned to stone. It hasn't been replaced. It's not a real fossil. Well, that's not necessarily true. See, our fossils, yes, they're real. This is an actual mammoth tusk. It hasn't been replaced by anything. This is an actual piece of plant material. It hasn't been replaced by anything. But it's still evidence of a time long gone. It's evidence of ancient life. Say, for example, you have a fossil footprint. There's nothing left of the animal there, yet it's still a fossil. So you have inorganic fossils, you have organic fossils. It's all evidence of an ancient time. Fossils are just evidence of ancient life, be it plant, shell, or even big mammoth tusks. Some of the most important work we do is looking through one of these magnifying glasses, using a paintbrush, and sorting through tiny little piles of dirt. See, all the sediment that comes off of a large bone like that contains a whole bunch of different answers to a whole bunch of different questions. Most importantly, what was the environment like? So we're looking for microfossils, tiny little bones of animals that actually lived here in the park, like small mice, reptiles, lizards, turtles, things like that. We're finding shell pieces, plant material, even sections of insects. Now, when we combine all that together, we can actually figure out the paleoecology or what the habitat was like back during the last ice age. Just from looking through little piles of dirt and figuring out what's what. See, because the big animals, they were cool, but they didn't live here, they just died here. All this little stuff, they're actually part of Hancock Park. So it's, it's kind of a neat thing that way. So, we're a little bit busy around National Fossil Day on the 13th, but if you come on down to the Page Museum, October 23rd, we're going to be kind of having our own celebration for it. I'm going to be here, a bunch of my friends and coworkers are going to be here. We're going to have really cool stuff out in the galleries for you to come and look at. We're going to be doing some fun stuff in the fishbowl. It's going to be a fantastic day. So October 23rd, come on down to the Page Museum here at the La Brea Tar Pits. I hope to see you there. If you see me, say hi, ask me some questions, I'll be around.